We give honor to God, who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. Yes, sir. Thank God for the living place. That says he hung, he bled, he died, but on the third day, he got up from the grave. I would like to give us a subject this morning, as a title this morning, quote, The Thrill of Victory and the Agony of Defeat. When I was listening to Bishop James B. Walker speak on the book of Chronicles, he reminded us of the theme of that old sports series that used to come on ABC called The Wide World of Sports. And the theme of that series was, quote, the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. Can y'all hear me this morning? Yes, sir. If we were to tell the truth about our lives, we had some thrills yeah. when things have gone our way. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. And we've had some agony yeah. when things have not gone our way. That's right. Am I right or not? Yeah. But we always say, thanks be to God yes, sir. who gives us the victory. Through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Can you say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. In looking at the life of Peter, we can we can see ourselves. And despite ourselves, Jesus has still given us the victory this morning. Yes, sir. Let's give Jesus a hand of praise. Yeah. Go with me to the 
Matthew chapter 14. Look at verse 28 and 29. The Bible says, And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou bid me come unto thee where? And he said, Come, come in the water, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he was. Did you? 
even doubt me if I could bring a little closer. Oh, you little faith, why did you take your eyes off of me? If I could bring it down a little bit more, why did you start looking at the wind instead of looking at me? Yes, 
that more folks came on the scene. Help me, Holy Ghost. They appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. Would you look at this? Can you imagine this? Moses, Elijah, and Jesus, and ain't nobody else here but James and John and me. Out the whole world, he picked me to be here. Tell me there is the thrill of victory. And guess who spoke up first? Peter. How y'all know? Matthew chapter 17, verses 4 and 5. The Bible says, Then answered Peter, like you said, and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. That's what sound like this. If God will, let us make three tabernacles. One for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he yet spake. Now he's having some fun here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Help me, Holy Ghost. And behold, behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved son. In whom well please hear ye him all oh, the thrill of victory Moses is here Elijah is here Jesus is here and the father is talking with us oh everything is going on right can I back it up let me get back to chapter 17 and verses 6 through 8 the Bible says and when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were so afraid. They were terrified. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Am I right about it? And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. We're all alone with Jesus. The thrill of victory. On the mountaintop. And everybody's getting transfigured. Ah, oh, you know the feeling sometimes we have. Praising God on Sunday. Praising God in Sunday school. Raising holy hands to the Lord. Caught up in worship. Saying amen, yeah. getting deep in his word, yeah. walking with Jesus, yeah. talking with Jesus, yeah. thriving in your ministry, yeah. your family is blessed, yeah. your health is blessed, yeah. your finances are blessed, yeah. you feel like you're being transfigured yeah. on the mountaintop. Yeah. Everything is going your way. Yeah. You're telling everybody the three. Verse 13 through 15. It says, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Good God Almighty, come on, whom do men say that I am? Hallelujah. Whom do men say that I am the Son of Man? And they said, Some say that thou 